The White House this morning is getting ready for the final state dinner of the Obama administration. It will honor Italy's Prime Minister Matteo Renzi. The President and First Lady Michelle Obama have hosted 12 previous state dinners. A special celebrity chef will be in the kitchen tonight. Chip Reed is at the White House with all of the delicious details. <laughs> Chip, good morning. Well, good morning. <laughs> Famous chef Mario Batali, known for his Italian cooking, was chosen by the First Lady to oversee this final state dinner of the Obama administration. We got a preview of what Batali and the White House kitchen staff are whipping up for the 400 guests who will crowd into a giant tent on the White House South Lawn tonight. We got a lot of work to do. <laughs> Wearing his signature orange Crocs, Chef Mario Batali, along with the White House executive chefs, served up a taste of what will be on the menu for the last state dinner of the Obama era. The first course will include a sweet potato pasta dish, followed by a warm butternut squash salad, then a meaty main course with a vegetarian option, ending, of course, with dessert. As you can see, this was a tough assignment to stomach. Oh my God. That is unbelievable. Where does this rank in all the extraordinary things you've ever done as a chef? This is at the very top of that list. This is it? Yes. Batali is no stranger to the Obama White House. A supporter of the First Lady's Health Initiative, last year he joined Michelle Obama at the Milan Expo for an event about nutrition. Is there one person you're worried about? Would it be the president or maybe the first lady? Who's the foodie? Uh, you know, you generally don't worry that much about Americans when you're cooking pasta. You worry about the Italians. Oh, good boy. <laughs> so, good boy. So Prime Minister Renzi is the guy that I'm probably going to watch their plates a little more closely. Those plates will have dishes made from ingredients of the final harvest of the first lady's kitchen garden and will sit on elaborately decorated tables like this one. The fall harvest theme even stretches to the sweets. Susan Morrison is the White House executive pastry chef and worked with Batali to create the apple crotata dessert. How many of these have you done? So this is my 21st year. <laughs> 21st year. So yes. you, this, this is kind Quite of a piece a few, of cake for yeah. you. I, I would say it's, you know, it, it always takes so much thought and consideration. The Obamas have hosted a dozen other state dinners. First in 2009, welcoming the Prime Minister of India, Mr. and Mrs. Salahi, was embroiled in controversy after a party crashing couple slipped through, raising questions about security and prompting a congressional inquiry. But the others have been remembered not only for the world leaders they hosted, but for the lighter moments too, like what dress the fashionable first lady is wearing. And when Sasha Obama met movie star and Canadian Ryan Reynolds during Canada's state dinner last year, this photo captured older sister Malia in the background, giving her little sis two big thumbs up. It really is a, an evening of camaraderie, an evening of diplomacy. Desiree Rogers is a former social secretary for the Obama administration. I would imagine that they are practicing a little bit and just making certain that everything is in place. But for Batali and his crew, the focus is on the food. So are you shaking in your orange Crocs? <laughs> you know, I'm not yet. I, I think I'll be shaking in my orange Crocs tomorrow when it's about a half hour before service. Chef Batali says he will be wearing those orange Crocs while he's whipping up something extraordinary in the White House kitchen tonight. And by the way, the dinner will be capped with a performance by mega pop star Gwen Stefani. Nora? Wow, yeah. That sounds like oh, a yeah. good night. I think it's great that Mario Batali will be looking at the Prime Minister uh, Renzi's plate <laughs> to see. He's more interested in appealing to the Italians. Yeah, I think that's Making sure that pasta is al dente. <laughs> but, his, but his food is always good, so I don't think he has to worry too much. Right. Oh, that was a fun story. Looks nice. Thank you so much.